This May, 24 fish sniffer readers join me aboard the Happy Hooker in search of San Francisco Bay halibut and striped bass. Our skipper for the day was Captain Jonathan Smith. So Jonathan's obviously looking for fish. What's the situation, Jonathan? What's what's happening? Uh, here, here this morning, we're, we're trying to catch the last bit of this incoming tide here. Uh, in, in, at the Berkeley Pier, the flats as they call it. And we're just, just getting out here looking for a little bit of bait to set up on. Bait usually means uh, that you got a halibut feeding on them up on the bottom and possibly a few stripers around too. Just west of the iconic Berkeley Pier, Jonathan cut the engines and we started drifting. The excitement level was running pretty high. The fishing had been great and we had a nice gentle tide, perfect for catching halibut. Little baby striper. Baby striper. As luck would have it, we fished out the end of the tide and only caught a handful of small stripers and undersized halibut. We took the opportunity between tides to run over to San Francisco and top off the live bait tank with lively anchovies. If you've never been on a live bait potluck trip, this is the bait receiver at Fisherman's Wharf. The guy tending the receiver scoops up the anchovies and passes them off to the deckhand, in this case Greg Brown, and he places them in the boat's live bait tank. Here's what they look like. These are high quality, nice sized, very shiny, very lively anchovies. We'll be back with a parade of keeper halibut and stripers after this. Fishing the West with Kel Kellogg is brought to you by Penn Fishing Tackle, Abu Garcia Big Game Reels, Cousins Tackle, Premium American Fishing Rods, and the Fish Nipper the premier source for West Coast fishing information since 1982. After departing San Francisco, Captain Jonathan steered the Happy Hooker toward the South Bay. Fishing in the South Bay has been very consistent this year and from the chatter on the radio, we knew the hell of it were on the bike. All right, man. Oh my God. As soon as we got our lines in the water, we started hooking fish. That was a good bite. The ice was broken with this keeper striper. A few seconds later, a second fish was hooked off the bow of the boat. It turned out to be a nice keeper halibut. Sweet! Nice help. Sorry. The bites kept coming all around the boat. Check out this dandy keeper. This fish probably weighed 10 or 11 pounds. I captured this footage with a GoPro camera mounted on a pole. Here comes another keeper bass. William is one of my fishing buddies from Sacramento. He was the next guy to hook up. Nice and steady, William. And so it went for the rest of the afternoon with a keeper striper hitting the deck here and a keeper halibut coming up there. Halibut and striper fishing remains very good in San Francisco Bay. Um, if you've got out there and have some fillets and don't know what to do with them, check out this next segment on how to cook halibut fillets. Um, halibut meat is, is just phenomenal. You can fry it, you can bake it, you can make halibut salad out of it. There's a, a lot of different ways you can cook it. Today I'm going to make some blackened halibut fillets um, and I thought I'd share my recipe with you. You can use this for a variety of different kinds of fish but halibut is my absolute favorite. I'm going to be serving it with some corn on the cob and some yellow squash but uh, I'll take you through the process of how you prepare and blacken the fillets. Okay, here are my fillets. I've got them covered with saran wrap. I cleaned them up a little while ago, trimmed them and covered them, popped them back in the fridge. And uh, here in this bowl, I've got some sauce that I'm going to put on the fish and I'm going to use it to blacken the fish. 
It's actually Best Foods mayonnaise. It's about two thirds of a cup of mayonnaise. I put in two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, a tablespoon of garlic powder, and a half a tablespoon of black pepper. I mixed it around. I'm gonna coat my fillets with this and then I'm gonna put them in a very hot frying pan. I'm gonna cook them very quickly. So here we go. Okay, here are my trim fillets and here's my seasoned mayonnaise. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this, uh, take this mayonnaise, I'm gonna put, put it on the fillet and I'm gonna, I'm gonna coat it just spread it around and when this hits the pan what it's gonna do that mayo is just gonna liquefy it's gonna turn into oil it's gonna leave that seasoning on the fish and I'm gonna only cook these for about a minute and a half per side they're gonna cook very quickly um, help but meat is pretty delicate so you don't want to overcook it this is just gonna give it a great flavor really like this process. I actually learned how to do this cooking yellowtail from Southern California, but it, uh, as I said earlier, it works great on a lot of different kinds of fish, and halibut is my absolute favorite. And you can just see that halibut. It's just beautiful meat, nice and white. So I'm going to flip these over. I'm going to coat the other side. My, my frying pan is heating up. Now I'm going to use a non-stick skillet tonight. If I was going to do it the traditional way, I'd use a black cast iron skillet. Unfortunately, I don't have a black cast iron skillet, so I'm going to have to run with the, uh, the Teflon non-stick pan. But the key is to get it really, really hot. So, coat the rest of these. That noise is my microwave. I'm cooking my corn as I'm doing this. So. Everything should be done at about the same time. I'm starving, so I'm, I've been looking forward to this all day. So there we are. My fish is coated. All I need to do now is wait for the pan to get really hot and uh, drop these in, time it with my watch, and uh, we are going to eat good tonight. I don't know if you can see it, but that pan is just smoking hot. So here we go. In with the halibut. You can see that mayonnaise just liquefy almost on contact. Put those thicker pieces out towards the middle where the pan is hottest. Oh, that smells good. Do that. So we're going to let that cook for about another minute and a quarter. And uh, I'm going to flip them. I might add a little more of the mayo to the top side before I flip them. And uh, I'll pull them out. So the cooking time on this is about three, three and a half minutes. That's it. Very fast. Okay, I just flipped them. You can see the beautiful color on that side that was down. We're going to give this about another minute, minute and a half. And we're going to pull it out. And uh, we're just about ready to eat. I can't wait. Okay, there's the finished product. Um, I'm finishing up the squash right now. We're almost ready to eat. That's just beautiful fish. All right, that was quick and easy. All I need to do now is go out and track down my wife in the garden and get her upstairs here, and we are gonna enjoy a great dinner of black and halibut fillets. I hope you'll give this recipe a try, and I hope you'll tune in and catch me on the next episode of Fishing the West with Cal Kellogg. Thanks a lot, folks.